Hey there, Paul Adams here with another food review video. Um, today I stopped at Whataburger to try their new chili cheeseburger. And, uh, go ahead and get out of the bag here. I might have to be extra careful. Chose the wrong day to wear a white shirt. This thing might be messy, so, um, wow. Okay, right off the bat, it's a heavy sandwich. There's no way I'd be able to finish this in one sitting. Uh, it's definitely got some weight to it. It smells like chili. It smells really good. I'm going to get a bite here on the side. It's got two patties on it. Melted cheese in between. Plenty of chili in that first bite. So here we go. Whoa. That's good. I wasn't expecting the crunch. I forgot that they actually put um, Tostitos corn chips in there. And there's some fresh onions as well. Getting some mustard flavors. Um, obviously Whataburger's beef. Delicious every time I have it. You got the cheese in there. Going for bite number two. Mmm. Wow. Hmm. Who would have thought chili on a burger would be that good? Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, this is going to be a higher up review of, of my one out of tens. It's a really good sandwich. Um, I'm okay with chili. Not the biggest fan of chili, but I like to try anything new that comes out. This is something that they do, I guess, around October. And I don't know if this is the first year they've done it or not. Wow. What a burger. Uh, it's got a lot of heft to it. Plenty of meat. I mean, it's very filling. It'll take me probably five or six bites of this thing. I'd have to save the rest to eat for later. Uh, I like it, personally. If you don't like chili, obviously you wouldn't like this. But if you like chili, there's plenty of it on there. There's plenty of cheese. It's got that nice crunch with the onions and the Tostitos uh, corn chips. Going for one more bite. Mm. Of course. Of course. Should have known. Okay. Wow. That's a good burger. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I'd have to say out of 10, that's an eight and a half for me. Um, and just as a bonus, Whataburger just released a brand new white chocolate raspberry um, shake there. I don't want to spill any. It just looks white in there. There's a little bit of pink from the raspberry. And we're going to give this a shot too. That's interesting. I'm not going to say that that's the best shake that I've ever had, because that'd be a lie. It's definitely not that. If you like raspberries, definitely go for that. But I will say, to me, what it tastes like, it tastes very similar to a vanilla milkshake with just a little bit of raspberry flavoring. I'm not tasting a lot of the white chocolate. It might be because I just had that burger. I'll give it one more sip. Yep. Tastes like a vanilla milkshake with uh, raspberry flavoring in there. And it's good. It's not bad. Uh, not my favorite shake in the world. I probably prefer like a Wendy's Frosty uh, any day over that. But it's worth a try. And if you like raspberries, you'd love that. I would give the shake uh, probably like a 7 out of 5. Just average. It's not bad. Not great. Maybe like a, maybe like a 6.5. A um... But I hope that that interview helps some of y'all, and I hope that uh, if you give the sandwich a try, I, I would recommend it. It's a good one. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see y'all next time.